Hello and welcome to a Construct 2 tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to be creating a grid based tile system. Now there's three textures you're going to need for the base of this kind of um, tutorial for the system and they are a placed sprite, a select sprite and a background. So for me I've just got some dark dirt and I've got the select for the dark dirt. Uh, the select for the dark dirt I've just set to um, oh, I just realised you could actually just use opacity in here. I thought about that. I used a different image. You could probably just use opacity if you wanted this. But to be kind of like that better probably I don't know anyways um so once you've got your sprites all in the game you want your tile background obviously and your layout and you want your <coughs> play sprite and your select sprite both outside of the layout so that they can't be seen now in your event sheet you want to add an event which is system every tick and you want to add another event Oh, make sure you've got the uh, mouse um, object in your game as well. Uh, you want to had uh, had well. You want to add another event, which is mouse on click. I'm going to go left click, and on our uh, every tick, we're going to add an action for the select sprite, and we're going to do set position. And inside here we're going to go floor, open brackets, mouse dot x, forward slash, which is divide, by 64, closing brackets, times 64. Now, I'm doing 64 because that's the size of my tiles that I'm using. They are 64 by 64 images, and so that's the kind of grid that I want. And then for the Y, we're going to do the exact same, except obviously most dot Y divided by 64, and then times that by 64. Once you've done that, press OK, and you've done on that. You can go ahead and go back into it and copy the X1 if you would like, because it's just a bit easier. We're going to go mouse on left button clicked. We're going to go system for the action, and we're going to create an object. The object is going to be the place sprite. On layer one, for the X, you can paste that X uh, that X one in from before, and then paste it into the Y one, and just change the X to the Y. Click OK, and you're done. Next, click onto the mouse on left button clicked event, and press C to add a condition. You want to go dirt dark select or your select sprite, and go to is overlapping another object. Choose the object as play sprite and click done. This makes it so that uh, you can't kind of place a sprite on top of a sprite on top of a sprite. Um, and after that, just press I on the um, new kind of condition that you've just added in so that the red cross comes up, which basically inverts it so if it's not overlapping the play sprite. Once you've done that, go to your layout, go into your place sprite um, editor so that you can edit it. Go onto your collisions, <clears throat> and you also want to make sure that your origin point is set to the top left as well. And um, on your sprite, I mean, uh, go to your collision and just make it one smaller on each side. So yours would be like that. Just make sure it's kind of like that. Uh, to do that, you just hold control and press on these little squares. And then obviously when you want to do the bottom one, you just click into the white space, click the bottom left and the bottom right, and then you just press up on your D-pad, etc, etc. Once that's done, you can click play, and it is done. So as you can see, we move around and our select sprite is there. When we click, it will put it there 
and we can place ones at the side of it too and it just works so that's pretty much it uh, if you've got any problems do let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you if you've enjoyed uh, go ahead and leave a like and if you want more tutorials go ahead and subscribe and you'll be up updated kept up to date that's the one on new ones so yeah thanks for watching see you later